exciting times. Our new solar panel mounts, inverter, and first ever server rack battery are arriving right now via FedEx. So it's an exciting time to be alive. It's so weird that they put that on a pallet. Those are so light, the, the plastic. Well, it keeps it uh, protected from the... Yeah, that's true. The shipping on it costs more than the things themselves. This is the inverter, the all-in-one inverter. And this is our very first server rack battery. So if we like how the whole server rack stuff goes together, we'll probably pick up a couple more and put it in a cabinet. So I don't know. I really like the wall mount batteries. What's your name? Uh, Joshua. Day. Thank you, you too, sir. The I think they for some reason didn't didn't ship it. That's unfortunate. Okay, so it's an exciting day at the Freedom Farm. We have solar expansion happening little by little because uh, we're still learning. So far we have a lot going on, but it's all universal kind of all-in-one power stations. So this is kind of our evolution where we're gonna start messing with the all-in-one inverter and server rack batteries, but we're also gonna expand our solar arrays. We have a small, very homemade situation going on on the shop and we have the Integra rack array uh, powering some circuits in the house. So these are the ground mounts that we use on the back side of the shop. We have one panel hooked up with these. And these are the power racks from Signature Solar. They're really cool. I like the ability to disassemble the panels and stack all those inside each other. That's what I really like because if a hurricane is coming, I can quickly, and I'll do a video explaining it, I can pop the clips out, take the panel out, and whether I have two or I have 20 of these, I can stack them all up inside the garage and wait for the storm to pass and then put them right back out the next day like nothing happened. And I really, really like that. The challenging thing on this is that these are pretty budget friendly, but because they have to ship on a pallet, that's where things get weird. And that's what initially pushed us towards the Integra rack the first time we bought it, is that I wanted to get more of these for the shop, but because the freight shipping became so costly, I ended up trying out the Integra rack, which I'm really glad I did because they're awesome. We also have the ballast kit for the Integra rack finally. Right now I just have them kind of sitting out there with some tent spikes in the conduit, holding it all together and just hoping for the best. And it's done well, but we're gonna properly ballast it once we add two more panels. Here we have, I guess you would say the, the big dog. I know it's the, the little inverter that they sell, but for us, this is a big step forward. So. This is their 3000 watt all-in-one inverter, or some people call it like the Bumblebee, it's their bright yellow one, um, and one of their newer server rack batteries. So for now, I'm gonna do the old tried and true solar cart with just the one inverter and the one battery, and I'm gonna keep that in the shop and figure out how to power it. The challenge is that I only have four solar panels at the shop, and so to get all those in series, is gonna be weird because I have two facing east and two facing south. And that's a problem. You wanna have all your stuff facing the same direction if you wire them in series. So that's something I gotta figure out. But for now, I can assemble this on the cart and kinda of use the station that's in there to charge it. I know that's not the most efficient way because I'm losing conversion from the DC in to the AC out to the AC in on this. So. It's not the most efficient thing, but I don't really use a lot of the power that's coming into the shop right now anyways. So it'll be fine to get it charged up and then I can actually run the circuits in the garage off the cart or I can take it and move it around and do some experiments. So we'll see. It's exciting to have it. It seems really easy. Will Prowl, Solar Lab, all the all, Hobo Tech, everybody makes it seem so easy. Uh, but I, I'm one of those people that I just have to do it myself to prove it to myself that it is that easy. So hopefully, 
we have all our wires and everything is good. I have a cart laying around and uh, yeah, I'm excited. We shall see. We shall see, yeah. We, we definitely shall see. <laughs> Something noteworthy is that the shipping was pretty easy. Uh, they gave us our quote, set up everything, paid online, super easy. Got a call from FedEx to book our appointment last week. They showed up on time and we live in a really rural area. So usually that's not the case. So that was pleasant. Everything seems packaged really well. No damage, at least visibly that I can see, which I appreciate. The last time I ordered these mounts from Signature Solar, the FedEx people just took them off the pallet and just handed them to me loose when they walked up the driveway, which was fine. They weren't damaged at all. So, but I appreciate that this kind of stuff comes with attention to detail with the packaging. I had a lot of issues like ordering cabinets and toolboxes from Home Depot and you get it and pieces are crushed and it's just like, man, come on, you know, you gotta do the weight again, you gotta figure out how to get it back to them. And I will say about a year ago, we ordered the EG4 uh, panel mount from Signature Solar and one of the rails was a little bit bent and I called them and they immediately squared it away and sent us a replacement. Whereas I feel like maybe you could have bent it out and made it work. I just wasn't totally sure. So that's why I wanted to reach out to them, but they were so cool. They just instantly sent a new one and that's really awesome. So I have confidence doing business with these people and that's why I continue to go to them. And uh, they've just been awesome. So ideally I would be putting all this into the shop and building the rack in the shop and all that. But um, my race truck is in there and it's been torn apart for a month and this is easier so rather than put that back together to be able to work on this i'm just going to put this in the regular garage and maybe say some adult words the plan is that if i can lift this without grimacing too much the table can probably hold it and so i'm just going to go with that All right, the moment of truth. Remember to lift with your back, not your legs. Just kidding, don't do that. Oh wow, okay, that's super light actually. Okay, that's promising. I don't think that battery is quite as light. So that's not bad at all. I have a feeling the battery's gonna be a lot worse. And we have more pallets for the stack. You can never have too many pallets. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna do the thing where we cut the video and he comes back <laughs> and it's on the table. Snap your fingers. Did it work? Hopefully it worked. So this wasn't that heavy at all. I used all my man strength, brought it in here completely by myself with no help from my wife whatsoever. Because mm -hmm. boys rule and girls drool. So I don't think I'm gonna do a lot with this right now, but I just can't help myself. I do want to look at it. Because it is pretty awesome. Oh baby. A little... We don't read those. I just put it together the best I can and then call when I'm confused. Well, I'm guessing that's a communication cable. So I'm not super smart on server rack batteries. I'll be the first to admit. So this is going to be a learning process. It seems simple enough. So I really like how that encases the battery. It's pretty nice. They actually do a really good job packing this stuff. Cool. Oh, that's neat. So they actually test it, do a QC. They don't just give you something off the shelf and hope for the best. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm in a similar type of industry, so we have standards like that. So I can appreciate that and the manpower that it takes to actually manually test this stuff. Now for something I can manhandle a lot easier, the inverter. And so the goal I think for here would be to have the 6,000 XP or maybe even the 12,000. This depends on how much solar we have. Uh, but I think this 3,000 will be awesome for out in the shop and on a little portable cart. Because most things that you use won't exceed 
what a 3000 watt inverter can do. So already there's a lot more wires than I'm used to dealing with because all I use is solar stations. So doesn't seem too bad though. All right. I'm guessing these are designed to fit specifically into the inverter or the battery. I have a lot to read. I'm not going to have a lot to read. I will skim through it and then ask them a lot of questions probably. Cool. I'm already overwhelmed by that, but that's all right. It's the manual. What's nice is that it's like a real manual. It's not just like a, a piece, a giant piece of paper that's folded up a thousand times into one booklet. Oh, it's got pictures for people like me. That's good. It's got a lot of pictures. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm a paint by the numbers kind of guy. I'm surprised how light this is. I guess it makes sense though, because it's just an inverter. So it shouldn't be super, super duper, duper, duper heavy. It's very yellow. So maybe we'll get some vinyl or something and make it orange to match all our equipment. It's actually all in perfect shape. So plus one for the shipping department. That's cool. Okay, well, this is our 3000 watt inverter that I'm not totally sure how to use just yet, but I'll read about it. Seems like we got positive and negative terminals, some sort of a fuse, communication cable, and some other stuff. Oh, the most important piece. I don't know. Ah, this is the internet dongle or the Wi-Fi dongle thing. Mm -hmm. I guess you don't have to have it hooked up to use it, but if you need to do firmware updates and whatever, you got to connect this to the internet and plug it in. Mm -hmm. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's how it works. So, cause this is sold as an off grid style. So I think they take into consideration that you might not be, you know, hooked up to internet all the time. Cool. Well, this is exciting. It's uh, what might seem like really simple stuff to you guys that have done solar before. This is a lot more than I'm than I've dealt with. So, I mean, positive to negative, right? A little communication cable can't be too much more complicated than that. I hope to expand our garage solar array, if you can even call three panels an array as well as what I believe to be the ballast kit and or maybe the Integra racks themselves. I'm not totally sure. I ordered two more Integra racks and the ballast kit. They might have used some creative packaging to get it all on here, which I don't mind. It's all very well packed, holy crap. It's like they do enough to brace everything without Filling up the garbage can or the recycle can. These are still cool. I like them. Ah. Oh no, that's the clips and stuff. Dang, I got excited. So they might still owe us something. But yeah, we'll do a video explaining these. But essentially, and if I'm being honest, the ones that we have on the shop right now, I haven't put any ballast in them. So unless an ant colony built a castle inside, there's literally nothing holding it. And then we've had no problems, but you just take this, set your panel right on there, put the clips. That's it. It's super cool. Super cool. And this is probably, wow, really banded on there. So not loose at all. I would go through the doubled part. My pride wouldn't let me change after I started. Oh yeah, this should be the plastic extenders. And remember to cut away from you, not towards you. 
do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, sweet. So we have why we have RJ45 cables. I'm not totally sure, but it might go with the inverter setup. But yeah, so you have extenders here and then the clips that go in. And so I'll take you through how to set all this stuff up uh, when we add the panel to expand the garage array. I'm gonna guess it's the, the ballast kit because it's essentially just like a roll of cloth. But what we can also do, it won't be super pleasing to the eye, but we have those old posts. We can lay those across the legs to give it some extra weight too. If this turns out to be more than we feel like fussing with. I'm guilty of seeing something, thinking it's really cool, without realizing how much work it is. Then I get it and just don't ever use it. Yeah. Yeah, this is just the ballast. So it's almost like a felt. Really just feels basically like a really thick permeable felt that you can roll over and put weight on. So that's cool. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was something a little more special than just like a really thick felt. Yeah. And I'm sure this is probably cut to a specific width to fit the feet or something like that. But I probably would just tarp it out next time. Or go ahead and get yeah. But I mean, it's cool. We'll use it. We'll give it a shot. Nothing else. Okay, so that's everything for this shipment. We still got some Integra racks coming in, so hopefully those come sooner than later because the thing I really want to do is expand our primary house array. Um, but we have our the power rack, ground mounts, 3000 watt inverter, big honking server rack battery, and all the bits and bobs to put it together. So I'm excited. Um, be patient. If you have tips, feel free to drop them. I hope this goes as well as I need it to. <laughs> Against my will, I'm being forced to tell you to like and subscribe. Smile. <laughs>